myself here with wild curiosity. Have you ever been curious about why fruit tastes so delicious? Well, let's go on a walk today to see if we can discover why. Follow me. Plants that live near water can take advantage of its currents to disperse its seeds. Take the palm tree for example. The coconut, their seeds, fall to the ground and ride upon the ocean's currents until it reaches a new shore to grow. Down here is an example of explosive seed dispersal. This garden variety iris has little seed pods that will eventually dry out like the ones you can see here, crack open, leaving the seeds to fall beneath. Thought we were done with animal dispersal? Think again. There is actually a third kind that many of us might have encountered if we have a pet or have hiked in tall grasses. Pull off the prickly, spiky burrs. These are actually seeds. They are designed to attach to animal's fur and get carried to a new location fall off and grow. I bet you didn't know that fire can be healthy for a forest. The heat can cause some cones to pop open, letting their seeds disperse and grow. Fire can also clear out competition, freeing up space for new plants to grow. So why is an apple so delicious? Well, let's think together to solve the mystery of the plant. How will the seeds within the apple get carried to a new location? Wind? Water? Animal? Fire? Explosion! It isn't light enough to fly on the wind. It doesn't dry and crack open over time. It does have tasty flesh to eat. So it must be, yes, you guessed it, animal dispersal. They will eat it and it will get pooped out in a new space. Just like the cotton Easter berries we saw last video. Seed dispersal is very important. It is how a seed gains space from its parent plant. It doesn't have legs like we do. So next time that you look up at that tree or maybe lay underneath in the shade, ask yourself, how did it get here? And what method of dispersal did it use to start its journey? Here is a fun activity for you. Next time you're outside, become a detective. Solve the mystery of the plant. Take a look at the plants around you and try and discover what dispersal method they used to get there. Did they get forgotten by a squirrel? Did they explode out of a seed pod? Did they get stuck to your socks on your walk? Did the wind and water carry them here? Go outside, make observations, take some notes, take some photos, share them with us, and maybe we all can discover how that seed got there. If you enjoyed what you saw today, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for future content like this. And remember, ask questions and stay curious.